Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. What you saw here was expert reviews exactly what to do if you see a shark. Yeah, that video does seem terrifying, but I don't think it's easy um, as it looks. A marine biologist has revealed exactly what you should do and shouldn't do if you ever come face to face with a shark. Well, the very idea of seeing a shark I'm charging towards you while you while you while swimming in the ocean is truly the stuff of nightmares. Knowing exactly what to do could just save your life. Have you ever thought about what you need to do um, in such terrifying scenario? For most, our instincts will be screaming at us to do just one thing: run or swim away as fast as you can. But surprisingly, and this could be actually be the worst thing you could possibly do in that situation. Shark diver and marine biologist Adriano Frangala shared a hair rising video to TikTok earlier this week explaining what to do if you encounter a shark in the ocean. Okay, for anyone who's interested in diving or ocean diving, this video might be helpful. The Hawaii-based diver and marine, ball, marine photographer is seen um, in the clip underwater during a dive when a tiger shark appears and starts swimming towards her. In order to educate her followers, she shows what happens when she starts panicking and trying to swim away as fast as she can and explains why this is a bad idea. If you ever see a shark, never splash or and run away. She writes in the clip, um, this makes you look like an injured prey item and will cause the shark to follow and chase you, hoping you are an easy food source, which you can see as I demonstrated when I splash and swim away, this tug shark continues to follow me. Yeah, it comes in, in um, the news when a, a woman in Australia got bitten by a shark. Thankfully, she survived. Um, you, you never know. You never want to look injured or compromised around sharks. You want to make sure you look like a fellow predator. <laughs> okay. The diver explains that instead of swimming away, a person should try and stand up to the shark and make eye contact with it. As a last resort, she's just playing a hand on the shark's head and push down. So instead of running away, turn and face the shark. Make eye contact and stand your ground. If necessary, push down on top of the shark's head, follow through, ensure they don't turn back. Exit the water as calmly as quickly as possible. She goes on to warn fellow followers um, not to personally um, attempt to dive with shark and to only use this trick as a last resort. Okay, so you always have to consult with the experts. Adriana also urges people to go with a professional guide if they wish to dive with sharks. Early this week, Sydney cider Lauren O'Neill, 29, suffered serious injuries in a bull shark attack after she went swimming near a private wharf at Elizabeth Bay. The incident occurred at 7.45 and caused her to almost lose her right leg, which witnesses said was visibly trailing behind her as she frankly tried to get out of the water. Miss O'Neill suffered serious injuries, but hero surgeons at St. Vincent Hospital managed to save the limb. The apex predators are rife in the harbour this time of year, feeding off service dwellers fish like salmon, bonito and murku tuna. In the day they lurk in 40 meter holes in the harbour before coming up to the surface to feed at night. The most dangerous time to swim is dusk or at night when bull sharks are most likely to be hunting in the shallows. Yes. Unfortunately, that happens. Um, if you see a shark um, in the harbour, I would say that 99 times out of 100, it's going to be a bull shark, uh, Lawrence 
Michelle Beckham, a marine biologist and child companion at Humane Society International, told news.com.au. We don't want to cause undue fear because that leads to rash decision making, but it's true that there is a risk of shark biting in the harbour. New South Wales DPI shark scientist Amy Schmoogley said bull sharks are most prevalent in two areas of the harbour. These are the triangle of water between the Kirribilli, Garden Island and the Opera House and up to Parramatta Water near Guilds Bay, Glades Bay. In February 2022, Simon Nillist was swimming at Little Bay when he was mauled by a shark, the first fatal attack in Sydney in 60 years. The British expat was trained for a charity swim at about 4.30 on a February afternoon and suffered catastrophic injuries. The great white measuring between 4 and 5 metres was responsible for the attack, which sparked the closure of all beaches in the east and south. Then a week later, a, another after the um, fatal attack, a 15 year old boy was hooked um, a, um, by a 2.8 meter bull shark while fishing in Middle Harbour. Anyway, folks, what do you reckon about this um, um, tip from an expert that um, the way you can um, avoid getting bitten by a shark is to stand your ground, make eye contact, and just look it in the face and guide it away from you.